we need a biopic of the breaking to journey from like the first time they thought of making the attempt to break two hours in a marathon in a lab with Nike and all that stuff, all the way to the first failed attempt to then, you know, breaking a world record of the real world record and then to actually breaking to in the Ineos. And basically it's a biopic on Ilya Kipchoge, but it's centered around the breaking to moment, you know, and that's like the crescendo. Okay. And I, I think that would be good. I think, cause I think like I did say that like people won't get their chills for track events, mm -hmm. but I do think they would get their chills Walk that for back. Walk that back. I'm walking it back. Would get their chills for a marathon because the marathon is more relatable across the country than a 400 meter dash. That's my opinion. And I think, okay. you know, you, you could drama dramatize because there's a lot of like failed attempts and there's a lot of planning mm -hmm. to it. So there's just a lot of like, when I look at superhero movies, the best superhero movies are like the origin story superhero movies where like a majority of the yeah. movie is them becoming the superhero. And then the last 20 minutes, they're the superhero, but you're just like mm -hmm. seeing how they became it. And then this, yeah. you know, the entire movie is how he, like all the, like, the tests and the, the trinkets and the planning and the failed plans and all this stuff and the, 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 the teams and like the people who the, you know, the times when he got hurt and all that stuff mm -hmm. will be the majority of the movie. And then the last 20 minutes will be the actual two hour attempt, you know? So that's what I think would be a great movie biopic. And we were talking offline. Ilya Kipchoge would be played by Don Cheadle because even though Don Cheadle's 50, he looks like Iliad because Iliad looks 50. <laughs> okay, I green light the movie, uh, first of all. Second of all, I'd worry if it comes out too close to Shoe King, Miles Millimeters, and Mayhem, if there's some sort of confusion about it. Here's how I see it playing out. I like the idea. I think you'd need to create a composite character who works in shoe technology. So yes. unless there really is some character who's been working in shoe technology the entire time Kipchoge is running. And what I would do is for the first part of the movie, there'd be this parallel track, right? It's Iliud in Kenya going through his running career. And meanwhile, back in Portland, a guy in, la in, in the lab doing all these crazy, weird, mad scientist type tests, right? And eventually those two meet and it's a combination. Um, and, it's a, and it's a story about contrasts, but it's also, uh, again, about two of the top in their field combining together to create something great. Now, does that person exist? No, but uh, movies make composite characters all the time. And I think who that would be the, kind of interesting. Who played the composite pl nerdy lab Nike guy whose life work is to figure this out that is going parallel with Kipchoge's career who then they meet up at the end to make it work, make it happen? Would you Michael go with Sarah. like a serious Michael Sarah? Michael Sarah, I was thinking like Charlie Day. I mean, they have, so, so this person in this composite character was a runner themselves and they had some epic flame out, right? And then they've just been completely can... driven. Yeah. Well, both those guys look like runners though. So they both would work. Yeah. So. Michael Sarah kind of look, can go back to the Juno days when he was a runner. Yeah. Remember Juno? Yeah. When he was running with the headband. Yeah. I, but I, I do agree. I called that for a long time. So. 